This time on Turbo Build, we're working on brake ducting. G'day folks, and welcome again to Turbo Build. My name is Brendan, and as always, it's fantastic to have you here. This time, I'm working on some brake ducting ideas, and hopefully, we'll be able to mock up a solution that will allow me to get some three inch hose pumping air into the hub area of the front wheels. Now, as always with this sort of stuff, we're going to start with a bit of cardboard aided design, or CAD. However, the first thing we need to do is get the ABS sensor out of the way. We'll put it back in place a little later on. Now, if it's your first time here and you'd like to see more awesome MX-5 Miata stuff, don't forget to hit subscribe. We get videos out pretty much every week. And with that out of the way, cue the music. I'm just trying to mock things up here using the cardboard to identify where things fit and where they don't, uh, where we might or might not have some clearance issues. And likewise, what I might need to cut out of the way to get these to work. You can quickly see here as I trim things down that things start to come together. I need to make some clearance for the uh, steering ball joint and I've also bent the top and bottom over with the theory of creating a duct to sort of perhaps scoop air into the rotor. Now the OEM dust shield usually bolts in here with three bolts and there's also a hole required for the ABS sensor. So I'll mark those out and if I get them lined up correctly, I'll be able to bolt my duct down to the OEM location. Transferring the awesomely technical CAD drawing onto this thin aluminium sheet will help me start to create something a little bit more substantial and again help with mocking things up. I'll be able to find out where I need to bend things to get a nice shape and of course the bends help to stiffen things up. Now for some reason, which I'm completely dumbfounded as to why, there's this little nub on the hub which is getting in the way of things. So I'm going to introduce it to my friend, the angle grinder. Now with that out of the way, this mock-up version 2 with its holes to mark the mounting locations is starting to look pretty good. So I took all of this information, pumped some numbers into the computer and started to 3D print a, well actually 2D mock-up to validate my dimensions. So after letting this pump out some really rather ugly orange colour, which I actually got for free, I've ended up with this rather accurate template. I've transferred this back over to some more aluminium plate, this time with more accuracy. It includes mounting holes for the hub and a clearance hole for the ABS sensor, plus some foldable tabs where I plan to get the three inch duct to plumb into. So using a set of pliers, all the folds can be made. So I'll go ahead and get that done now. Thank you. 
And, adding a bit of 3 inch tube, I've got a finished duck mocked up. Next phase is to transfer this knowledge onto something more substantial, whether it be a laser cut aluminium plate, or perhaps even steel, and then plumbing in the hose that will feed the air from the front of the car into the actual duct itself, and of course into the, uh, the brake rotor. But that is for another day. Well, that's it for today. As always, it's been an absolute pleasure to have you here. If you enjoyed the video and you like what you see, it'd really help me out if you give the video a thumbs up, share the video with your mates, and why not check out some of our other content. Of course, you can find us on Facebook and Instagram as Beavis Motorsport and at beavismotorsport.com. Anyway, folks, that's it from me. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.